Hey, honey, you have to come tell me about my engine. Boy, we're gonna extend the A arms on this bitch. No, we drove to Phoenix Ford. Look at that. And then set those up in there. Hell no. What are those for? Why are you gonna put them? That looks cool. Okay, I yeah, they probably look cool. Huh? Oh, those are your forty dollar tires. Actually, I look pretty good. Here, looks shine nice. the light on. Looks pretty dope. Are these Chevys? Turn around, Corby. Car. It's oh, okay, NASCAR, that's cool. Man. Oh, those are NASCAR. Sweet. Oh, there goes one. Oh, look at it on the car. Oh, you're putting those on the car? There you go. Oh, no, I found my keys. So we took my keys. Your really? keys are right here. I said I have my. I have your keys. You had them all day. Yes, I had them all day. Okay, it's rubbing now. It's really gonna rub with those. No, it's not. Those are like the original size I had them. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. All right. What do we get here? What do we have? Just Brand the. Brand new ZZ4 block. Well, it's been rebuilt. So it's just the bottom part. It's the whole motor's long block. Okay. Aluminum heads. Okay, so like, what part? Open the gate. So can you just stick this in the car and put the top part on and it runs? Or how much is involved in this? There's a lot involved in this. Oh man, are these going to the gate? Well, yeah, they less. Take everything off. Yeah, all the, yeah. all the. He's going to the backyard. Yes, they go to the backyard. We're at the backyard. They actually need to go in the shop so they're not in the sun. Okay, God. but if you, when you were going to buy that small block, just the block the, itself, the that was going to be a lot. Of, is. That was going to be more yet. work. So you drop the four hundred in there. It, yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. If they come with no. a or anything, you got to call that down. No, no, no. Such a rod. That name. small rock, small block you were going to. Remember, it's a small short block you were going to buy. It's a short block. It short does block. not have heads or anything on it. Yeah, That's why I'm saying this. So this is less work because all this is it here is already. It is less work, but it's still a lot of work. Well, I wasn't saying that it was days. not work. I was I saying... I got a day and a half to change out and have it run. You can do it. Yeah. Actually, you and Charlie can do it. Wrong. I'm wrong? <laughs> so I was checking my hotel reservations for Hot August Nights and I called Circus Circus to confirm our reservation and I had no reservation. So now I'm trying to find something for Friday and Saturday night and it looks hopeful but Steve is going to kill me. So let's see what we can find. I'm doing Google Earth to see where ha where there's good parking, because that's an issue. Let's see here. I looked on Wells Street, Stardust Street, Victorian Street. Mm, that one's got bad parking, so that one's out, Victorian. Looks like Market may be the best parking. Let's go back to that one. Can't believe this. There's so much going, and I obviously spaced making the reservation. But at least they took my discount for the first three nights. Okay, let's see here. About the same price Circus Circus would have been, so that's good. Orbitz has no booking fees. Steve? Is that Steve? Is that you? Come, what are you doing? You just came in the front door. I came in the front door once. I have some good and bad news about what? our hotel. What? I have some good and bad news about our hotel. They didn't have my confirmation when I called about the confirmation for Circus Circus. So they were able to put us in for the first three nights, but not the last two. Are you fucking serious? So 
I'm on here trying to find. And actually, there's ones on here. There's one. Um, Bella Quinta. That's how it has like lots of parking. I did Google Earth to see which ones have lots of parking. Told you, it's pissed. But he waited till this week to even look at my engine, and he knew in January that the engine had a problem. So. This is not as big an issue as my engine. I think I'll go with this one. It should work out. It is 9.30 on Saturday night. We are down to 48 hours until we need to leave to head up to Reno for hot August nights. Here is what needs to go in my car and be running. Our plan usually is to leave by 10 o'clock in two days, 10 o'clock at night, because we drive all night. So that needs to be in my car in the next 48 hours. So he's not rebuilding it, he's just replacing it. So it's 9.30 right now. Stay tuned to see how well this goes. Uh, What? How's this thing coming down? Well, I guess he thinks you guys should know. Hi, Sid. Good morning, Sid. My puppy that's not even a year old. Still mint. Okay, we're on. Day two. What time is it? Do we know what time it is? 12.13. 12.13. Oh, we still have the grill on, huh? Do you have to leave the grill on? And the cherry picker will not extend far enough, so we have issues. How far it's gone? Ready to pull out. Mm -hmm. Try from the side, see if we can get in from the side mount. About a day and a half left. AC not cutting it anymore, huh? Had to get some fresh air in here. So there's the old, here's the new. Very important part here. Actually, that's a better way of doing it than the way we did it for Grand Nationals. <laughs> Just trying to get in there and while well, it was on the car. Let's open the lens cover. Got all your polishing done? Is it? 
Wow, you guys are awesome. It's so pretty. It looks nicer <laughs> than my old one. Pretty motor. It is pretty. It's pretty. Why are these crooked? Why are those crooked compared to those? Because your car's crooked. Is there something wrong with them? No. Oh my god, there's something wrong with the cow. Wow. How hard was it to get this this part in? Major? It was difficult. Yeah, but oh. You guys are awesome. You guys started 24 hours ago. And look how much you've done. <laughs> we worked 24 hours straight, I hope we would be doing yeah. that. Well, yeah, I'd be up and running and we'd be uh, working on the brakes and everything by now, but no. No. No, but I mean, it's more like for doing everything you guys did today and stuff? In six hours. And Charlie's awesome yeah, polishing yeah. job. Yeah, seriously. It's going to save us a lot of time. And don't forget the 110 degrees, too. Oh, crap. If we're going to pour water on this thing to wash it, and Charlie just polished all that stuff, okay. we're in trouble. Come on. Let's what? Clean it all. It still needs to be cleaned up a lot better. It's going to be a lot of polishing at the show. I'm going to try getting that bolt once we get on the So you're done with all the top stuff, now you're ready to lift it and no, connect the bottom? No, we're, we're going to tighten everything up underneath. And, oh, and then bring it back more, down. Well, we need more uh, new valve covers and figure all that out. Oh boy. Smile. Okay, it's about 6.30-ish, 6.36, something like that. Yeah, 6.30 on Monday. And our goal is always usually to leave by 10 p.m. So, what do you think? Think we'll be leaving? on time. He's over getting the car hauler right now. And he said the hard part's done, the easy stuff is left. So it looks like he's going to try to do a little bit on the brakes before we leave. And then we'll have to detail it tomorrow for Tuesday. <laughs>